In the house. Hey, I want to start though with Tyler. Yeah. By the way, I love the blonde. Thank you. <laughs> Looking great. Love the suit. Thank you. Also really, really loved what you said recently in Rolling Stone. Very open and honest about your sexuality. Sure. Uh, came out as a gay man. Yeah. That was just a publicity stunt. Yeah, well, and here we are. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why was it uh, uh, the right place, the right time for you? You know, I'm 30, and I, uh, part of my, my stage mentor has always been self-acceptance, and I figured uh, it's never too late to fully self-accept yourself, so... For me, it was it was about coming out and being open to to the fans, and I don't think it's that shocking. I, I don't think I was doing a very good job hiding it. So uh, here I am. Well, it's a great read in Rolling Stone, and I wondered how impactful it is to have someone like Macklemore speaking out for equal rights. It's powerful. It's good. Um, I think we need more uh, more gay gay representation, though. You know, and I think uh, I think the world is ready for. For more, for more gay musicians, and, and I think there are some fantastic ones now, and I think there's room for more, you know. And and, and you took that step. Yeah, I'm not claiming to be the one. <laughs> no, no. Uh, the new album, everybody, is Pop Psychology, and you're gonna play. Love in the 21st century. Love in the 21st century. Yeah. Let's do it. Woo! Thank you, Tyler.